Sharp Just Giving page setup after playoff incident smashes original target. A Just Giving page set up to donate £500 to a charity of Billy Sharp's choosing has smashed its original target. The online fundraiser was set up following an incident involving the Sheffield United star following his side's championship playoff semi-final defeat to Nottingham Forest on Tuesday. Sharp was the victim of an alleged assault by a fan during a post-match pitch invasion. Sharp, who was left bloodied and angry according to his manager Paul Heckingbottom, gave an update the following day posting a message on Twitter. He said, One mindless idiot ruined what was an unbelievable night of football. Congratulations to Nottingham Forest on their victory and good luck in the final. As an ex-Forest player I will not let one scumbag ruin my respect for the Forest fans. Incredibly proud to be captain of this group of Sheffield United players. They gave their all and can hold their heads up high. We will be back and go again. Thanks for all your messages and support after the incident. The Just Giving Page's original target of £500 has been smashed, with more than £11,500 raised at the time of writing from more than 780 different donors. The page was set up by Zoe Potts who says Sharp's representative has chosen Martin House Hospice as the charity which will benefit from donations. On the page's bio she wrote, WE143 raising £500 to show condemnation as Forest fans for the attack. Blade's boss Heckingbottom was furious after the incident involving his skipper. He said, we're seeing things thrown on the pitch and things that are thrown on putting players' health and safety in danger, and nothing's ever done about it. There will be something done about that. We've seen what's happened, we know what's happened. How can you come to a place of work minding your own business and be assaulted in that fashion? It's just bang out of order, and it's everything that's wrong. Too many times we hear people condemn it, but nothing's done about it. We're the ones that suffered. We've seen one of our players attacked. He's shook up, bleeding. It'll be dealt with. It's upsetting for a lot of reasons, I don't want to say too much more about it. He'll be dealt with. Nottinghamshire police have since confirmed that a 30-year-old man has been charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm and going on to the playing area at a football match. He is due to appear at Nottingham Magistrates Court today, Thursday, May 19. Assistant Chief Constable Rob Griffin said, I am pleased we have now charged a suspect in connection with this assault. This is a result of hard work done throughout the night and today involving numerous police departments. We continue to work closely with both football clubs who are supporting our investigation following this incident. Cases such as this will hopefully serve as a deterrent to anyone thinking of getting involved in violent disorder at football matches. Incidents are treated extremely seriously by the force and football clubs, and people involved will be held to account.